and well welcome back Shima girls well the time has come for Shima to get her touch up and guess what I made it to seven months one week and two days so yes <laughs> I stretch really 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 long again now the, the longest I stretched my relaxers has been nine months so man I did so well and I'm very proud of myself you know the longer you stretch your relaxers remember Shima girls the healthier and longer your hair will become okay so it's very important so anyway with that said Shima girls I want to let you know that I'm going to show you, you know, how I'm going to go about relaxing my hair. However, I've done already relaxing tutorials in prior videos. So I, I, I strongly, you know, urge you to, to look at my older videos because I went through, you know, basically every little detail that I go through, you know, in order to relax my hair. But, you know, for, since I have so many more newbies, you know, on my channel and welcome, by the way, welcome Shima girls. I'm, I'm hoping that you're learning so much here, you know, and that, you know, you, you have realized that yes, black hair can grow to fairy tale mythical names not just long but to fairy tale mythical names okay so like I was saying I'm going to do the relaxer process in front of you ladies and basically just show you you know more or less the most important parts of you know how I at least I go about relaxing my hair and have been doing it for many many years you know which has worked for me okay and has allowed my hair to grow so long beautiful and healthy So first things first, as you can see, my hair is not loose because first I detangled my hair. That's the first thing you need to do, Shima girls, detangle. And basically the, the, the safest and most healthiest way to detangle our hair is with our fingers first. So remember, make sure that your fingernails have been filed, you know, your hands are clean. So do that, detangle your hair. And also, you know, make sure you a lot time to do to do this relaxer process because it take the longer your hair is, uh, the little bit more time it's gonna take. Okay, usually uh, to relax my hair, I uh, I use up about anywhere from four to five hours max. Okay, and that's including the, the amount of time that it takes, you know, to roller set for the also to for the relaxer to process, you know, and the detangling itself, you know, it takes some time to detangle your hair. Okay, so be sure you detangle your hair shima girls is very important because you know if you put relaxer on hair that's tangled up it's gonna be a huge ordeal you know you know when it's time to you know do your roller set or you should just simply divide your hair to apply the relaxer okay so um basically shima girls i want to show you the relaxers that i usually use which is the dark and lovely um the regular formula that's very important shima girls more important than the brand itself is to read if it's regular or super and i always advise you ladies to use the regular you know even if you gotta wait a little bit more time for the, the relaxer to process use the regular because it's 10 times more healthier for us Remember, I always say every step that you can take to prevent unnecessary breakage is very, very important. Okay, so choosing regular strength relaxers is a step that is very, very important to preserve the length and the health of your hair. Okay, so anyways, ladies, I didn't just buy one. I bought two, okay, because I actually need to use two, you know, because, you know, my hair is very very long so even though i'm not gonna apply to all of my hair as you're gonna see it's just it's just a new growth i still use up two relaxer okay so two relaxer kits from dark and lovely and it's the regular formula all right that's what shima uses and at the beginning of the video you saw everything that you would need you know to properly relax your hair at least that's what i use okay all, all those items you saw that's what we're going to need When all is said and done, you're still going to need your Shima oil, your Shima hair repair, leave-in conditioner, okay, your Shima hairline cream. All right, and you're going to proceed with your protective styles.
always proceed with your protective style shima girls just because you know we relax our hair and it looks uh, you know very nice or whatever at the end of the day you just want to show it off fine show it off have a good time with it but when you go to bed that night be sure your hair is at least in a shima bun okay So other things to keep in mind, Shima girls, during the relaxer process, be sure you have, you know, paper towels handy, you know, because, you know, some cream may get in your eye. Hopefully it won't if you're doing it correctly and paying attention or, you know, cream can overlap on your forehead or especially behind the ear area. You know, you, you rip a paper towel and, you know, just, just quickly, you know, um, start wiping that away because remember that relaxers, eh, they have sodium hydroxide and it's very, you know, very damaging to the skin, okay? And also be sure you have a towel or a, a rag would do to wrap around your shoulders as you start doing a relaxer process. Or if you have one of those plastic, you know, um, coverings that they, the stylists use, that's even better. Good. Just make sure you, 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 you protect yourself. Now, check this out, Shima Girls. Guess what I have in my hands? That's right. Vaseline. Petroleum jelly is also known as. Now, why did I choose this? Why did I choose Vaseline? What have we learned about Vaseline and petroleum jelly? Remember my prior videos when I spoken about this product? Remember how I explained to you what it does, you know, to our hair? You know what the purpose of this product is? All right, for those of you who do remember, good for you. And for those of you who don't remember or just have, you know, no idea what it does, well, let's refresh your memory. Remember, Vaseline is basically a byproduct of petroleum. And when this petroleum is applied to our hair, basically it just blocks out the moisture, okay? This does not moisturize our hair like our mothers and our grandmothers and our aunties have taught us. This does not moisturize. It's Purpose basically just blocks out the moisture and it usually leaves our hair very heavy. Now, I understand that some of you have used this and, you know, it happens to work for you, okay? But for the majority of us, no, it does not work. It blocks out the moisture, it leaves our hair very heavy or very greasy, and basically just acts as a barrier, okay? So, with that said, that's the reason why I bought this Vaseline, this petroleum jelly, because it's going to be a barrier against the relaxer okay then i'm gonna apply to my hair all right it's like the balm sometimes the relaxer kit comes with the balm sometimes they don't but you know just in case i bought this okay so that i can apply around my hairline area it's behind the ears and the nape and i'm also gonna divide my hair okay to apply this and also i'm gonna be sure to apply just to the scalp area even though I don't worry so much if it overlaps some of the hair, but the bulk of it is going to be concentrated on the scalp area, okay? Because we don't want the relaxer touching our scalp. So that is very, very important. But this will not be a moisturizer. Once the moisturizer is, as usual, my Shima oil. This will be my moisturizer. This is what I use on all of my hair to stop that hair dryness and keep my hair growing long and healthy.